Hello, welcome, I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to make someone fall madly in love with you. I love this topic, <laughs> it's so great. And I can't believe I've never, never done this specific video because this is really, I mean, gosh, yeah, this is just where it's at. <laughs> so how do you make someone fall madly in love with you? I mean, many of my videos are really kind of in the realm of this, but I've never spoken directly to it. So let's talk about this in this video. Before I jump in, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel right there in the corner or below. And also know that I offer lots of self-study manifesting courses. A lot of them are about how to make someone fall madly in love with you. There's a section on manifesting a specific person below. And there's also a section on manifesting new love below. There's several courses in each section. And essentially they're about how do you create a reality where someone falls madly in love with you? The last thing I'll say is I do a weekly giveaway. The giveaway is for a bundle of three ebooks, and these ebooks are ebooks that I wrote. The way to enter into this contest is to subscribe to my channel, to like this video, and to comment below the video. I give three ebooks to three people every week. Okay, let's talk about this. I love the, I love this subject. It's so good. So, how do you make someone fall madly in love with you? How do you create a reality where someone falls madly in love with you? You know, there's a couple components to it, but the main one I feel is your self-concept. If you feel yourself as a person who is absolutely a love lovable, absolutely adored, cherished, exquisite, amazing, gorgeous, just like, absolutely seen as an incredible, incredible person. If that is your own self-concept, if that's who you believe you are, you're going to create a reality where other people see you that way too, and they feel that way about you too. This has been how I've always manifested love. I've, um, I can't say always, but for the last, I'd say 10 years, since I had my own spiritual awakening, which, which was really what woke me up to my own exquisiteness, it, it woke me up to my own beauty. It was like, you are an exceptional being. So I created a self-concept after my awakening where I was like, I am so beautiful. I am so amazing. I am so magnificent. And once I created that own inner knowing, the men who came into my life, every single man who's come into my life since that has felt that way about me, has been like, you're incredible, you're amazing, you're magnificent. They've literally mirrored back to me what I knew I was. And so it comes down to what you believe you are. So if you're manifesting a specific person, yes, it's important to construct a inner felt experience and an inner imaginal experience of your specific person absolutely loving you this way. Yes, that's important. But I would say that that is secondary to you just knowing that you are exceptional. You are exquisite. You are beautiful. You are incredible. You are magnificent. You are one of a kind. There's absolutely no one like you on this planet. You are amazing. When you know this about yourself, you're going to create a reality where people see you that way and they're like, whoa, who are you? <laughs> so how do you do this? I dive deep into it. I, you know, actually, actually a lot of my, almost all my courses are gonna touch into how to do this. I'm thinking right now of my self-love course. I go into how to create this type of self-concept, but essentially you can't skip this part. And really, you know, honestly, it isn't that challenging. Like everything else, when it comes to manifesting, when it comes to your own personal evolution, it's really about practicing a new experience. So that can be new affirmations, new beliefs, new thoughts, new feelings of who you are. So the first step is going to be touching into 
Who do you want to be? How do you want people to see you? If people were, if someone was madly in love with you, or if people were madly in love with you, what types of things would they be seeing in you? What would they be saying about you? What would they think about you? What would they feel? Perhaps it would be things like, you are just amazing. I've never met someone who's so deep as you or beautiful or incredible, or you're so special. You're such an incredible person. Who knows? It doesn't matter. You, you get to choose what that is for yourself, but what would people, if someone was in love with you, what would they see you as? What would they think of you as? So pinpoint what those exact qualities are, what those, what even they would say to you. Now you, once you pinpoint who you would be, what that person would see you as, once you pinpoint what that is, you need to start practicing being that person. You have to start feeling that you are that person. You are incredible. You are beautiful. You are special. This is all self-love work. And so again, I recommend my self-love course to help you really start to know how amazing you are. <laughs> really start to know how incredible you are. Really start to know that you are one of a kind, that there is no one else like you, and you deserve to have someone feel that way about you. So the work is you knowing that you are this absolutely magnificent person. Like when you know you are absolutely magnificent, you are special, you are adored, when you know that, then you're gonna create a reality where people think and feel that way about you. So the self-love is step one. Step two is then going into, okay, I want a specific person to feel this way about me. Well, you create the imaginal reality where they do feel that way about you. You feel them being so taken by you. You feel them being absolutely drawn to you. You feel them um, thinking about you all the time. Now, if you're in an experience with your specific person where it's very far away from that, like you don't feel their love at all, let's say, then maybe you have to start smaller. You get to choose though. If you're able to go into the felt experience of your specific person just showering you with love and being madly in love with you, if you're able to create that inner reality here and now, go for it. But if you go into your imaginal act and you try to create feeling your specific person be madly in love with you and you like can't quite get there you're like oh it doesn't feel real i don't believe it you got to start a little smaller and work your way into that reality so where would you start you could start with um they think i'm a good person they're thinking about me a lot they love me as a friend even you can start there they um they're so happy that i've been in their life they want to have me in their life more you can start with these smaller beliefs. That's just saying, my specific person likes me. They really like who I am. They're so happy I've been in their life. Once you're feeling the truth of that, they really like me, then you move it into, they really, really like me. You know, they're, they're starting to feel incredibly drawn to me. They want me more in their life. They want me to be one of the most primary people in their lives. You start working your way up. And then eventually you're going to work your way into they're in love with me. They think I'm an incredible person. They're so drawn to me. They're so grateful for me. So you work your way into feeling absolutely, completely loved by this person. But you can start wherever you need to start. But when you feel that that person is madly in love with you and you know that you are an absolute, exquisite, magnificent, incredible, unbelievable, cherished being, when you know that, you're going to create it in your reality. This is just how it works. So always start with your own self-concept. We start chasing people. I'll link my video on chasing your specific person or chasing any manifestation. We start chasing, like we start chasing love when we don't think we are lovable, when we don't think we're loved, when we don't feel worthy. So you're always want, gonna wanna start with, I'm loved. You want to start with that baseline feeling of, I am loved. Of course I'm loved. I'm absolutely loved. In fact, I'm incredible. 
of course I'm loved. Of course people are going to be drawn to me. Of course I'm going to receive love from this person and any person. You always have to start there. You have to start with your own knowing of who you are because it's really your belief about who you are that is manifesting the outer reality, right? What you think and feel and believe and know is true in particular about who you are is going to create a reality that mirrors that back to you. So first and foremost, you have to know that you are so, so, so incredible. You are so loved. You are magnificent. You are just like the best. I mean, it can be that. It can be whatever you want it to be. And when you know that, then transfer it to, if you're manifesting a specific person, this person feels this way about me. If you're not manifesting a specific person, you're manifesting someone new, then you just feel someone coming in. It doesn't, you don't have to have any details about who they are, but they're just totally taken by you. You're going to manifest it. And it's so fun when you do. Okay, guys, thank you so much for being here with me in this video. I love being here with you. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. You like the video and you comment below. I'll see you soon. Bye.